All right, guys, what's up? Good morning. Um, shoot. Oh, I did the stupidest thing. I forgot my GoPro mounts <laughs> for my chest. So we're gonna try and still uh, head up, head up there, and uh, we'll do some try. We'll still do some filming, but no GoPro footage today. But uh, I guess the topic I want to discuss with everybody is um, now what I was gonna plan on doing was I was planning on talking about e-bikes. And because, you know, ever since, you know, we picked up e-bikes or, I mean, I haven't gotten any direct conflict with other bikers, but, you know, when you're on like Facebook and a whole bunch of other forums, people talk, people are like, ah, oh, you know, e-bikes are that, blah, 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 blah. And there's so much negativity that goes, that that's going into e-bikes, which I wasn't, I'm not sure, you know, what people think about I'm just not sure if people have given it a, a fair trial or a fair test to e-bikes because honestly so many people buy e-bikes for so many different reasons we'll continue this uh, conversation down the road and uh, see you in a little bit the key aspects of me getting an e-bike is because as my wife because as, as many if you if you go back all the way to my like first video um, or the uh, videos that I was talking about in my uh, first vlog, daily vlog, that is, that, you know, she's a super beginner, like, in athletics, you know, it's, it's just put it that way. So, you know, I love riding, you know, I, I grew up in the States, so I love riding, I love, I know, I, I like being outdoors, and uh, being in Taiwan, she couldn't, she doesn't have the liberty, or she didn't have the training to go do all that athletic stuff. So in the beginning, um, I took her to Sky Park. Um, everybody was suggesting, okay, Sky, Sky Park is perfect for beginners. There's a little bit of everything and you can progress really well. And then once we got there, you know, that's when I realized how physically she had to transform herself um, to keep up with the riding. You know what I'm saying? She's not used to the, the amount of uh, energy that she needs to put out and then she's she's not used to the amount of energy intake that she needs to do or the amount of exercise that, need, that she needs to do to be able to just follow people around inside Sky Park. So one of the things I, I, I thought about was, okay, let's, let's rent her an e-bike. And I was on analog, let's put it that way. I was on analog back then. So I told her, I said, you know what, let's, let, let's, let's rent you an e-bike and see if you can actually, you know, do better and she can actually climb and she can do all that stuff um so we got her e-bike we got her a high bike and actually she was really good she started doing two three four five runs per like from nine to twelve and with an analog bike she would have only done two runs max because her physical endurance was totally not not there so she would have done two and that's it and two runs, you know, you're you're not getting practice, but yet, yes, you are getting a lot of, um, you know, training and endurance. But then, you know, I was I was talking to her. One of her biggest problems that she encountered is that once she climbs up, her her mental status kind of changes. She just want to get down the mountain safely because she's so tired, and it's it's hard for her to focus her riding. So I was like, you know what? I really think she needs to get an e-bike. Um, the second biggest reason why I got an e-bike is because all the boys, we love riding e-bikes. We love going out and doing multiple runs. Um, and uh, you know, all the boys, including a uh, good friend uh, you see on the channel, The Expired and Michael Clayton, they're, we are somewhat like a, newer writers but um you know a lot of people on the forums or a lot of people on facebook um they complain about you know oh, beginner writers or you know they when they're going through with e-bikes it's so scary because they don't know what they're doing um you know it's not that we don't know what we're it, it, we still know what we are doing all right or when you make the comparison of you know oh beginner writers are hurting themselves you know honestly you know if you look at the friday fails on pink bike a lot of the people who are hurting themselves are people on on um you know cross country bikes who you know performing these crazy jumps um which they have no idea how to 
I'm not here to say, hey, look, you know, all these guys on cross-country bikes or on uh, hardtails don't know what they're doing. It's, it's, I'm not saying that at all. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking on any type of discipline on riding. What I'm knocking on is the fact that, um, you know, a lot of people still ride with caution. We don't want to kill the same trails. We still want to ride the same trails. We love the same trails. And we want to continue using the same trails. We're not here to destroy the trails. We're not trying to hurt ourselves because we still want to ride. We want to ride more. So a lot of that argument is, oh, it's for your own safety. Is It's kind of like, are you really, you know, um, yeah, it really is really. Do you really want to regulate how people want to have fun? I mean, during this time, during the strangest time in our lifetime, yes, we're being regulated. We can't go to the beach, blah, blah, blah. There are certain rules. But then, you know, without, you know, not having those rules, it's hard to tell people how to have fun and what to do. I mean, we're all here, we're all mountain bikers, and you know, we're, we're looking for, you know, we're all, we all have safety in, in the back of our heads. Last but not least, I think the most important thing with me getting the e-bike is because, you know, I can do this, I, I need to do this every day. And uh, I don't think it would be possible for me to be able to ride as much as I am um, every day without the e-bike, you know, like Glendora, like for example, what, what, what we are doing here today is not an easy climb to do every day. You know, if I was doing this on an e-bike, I had to get really much more fit within the certain amount of time that I have to do this. You know, I got to film and I do all that stuff. I got to go back and edit. And um, just with an analog bike, yes, you can achieve it, but then it's just much harder. Um, yes. That the results are different yes the ride is different but the thing is what's most most important is what's it's you know fun and being able to do this and uh, also being able to do see this and also just thrashing my way like this every day so uh, I, you know, with all the negativity and, um, and all this craziness in the world, you know, I don't think, it, 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 I, I think, you know, for us, we just need to be able to, you know, have fun, you know, you know don't, don't go crazy and just, you know, listen to other people, see what other people are doing first before, you know, making a, a claim that, oh, you know, you guys are cheating. You know, I don't know what cheating is. You know, I never thought that, you know, me getting on an e-bike would cause people to say, hey, you're cheating. You know, like, I don't know what cheating means. Cheating to me means, you know, you didn't study on, on your algebra and you didn't even know what there, if there's a test and you keep looking at the other person next door, uh, you know, and then next to you, not next door, I'm sorry. You keep looking at the person next to you and then, you know, you're copying him. Like, that's cheating, you know. So... You know, if I was copying someone, you know, I have full carbon bike and all that stuff, all the greatness. I mean, that's like, is that cheating? I'm copying you. You know, I'm just looking at you and seeing what you're doing, copying you. I mean, you know, I don't know what cheating means when it comes to riding an e-bike. I really don't understand that concept. What is cheating? Like, I'm not competing. I, I don't really care. <laughs> I, you know, I don't really care if you're riding slower. I don't care if you're riding faster. I don't know what cheating is, you know. I mean, I guess... One of the biggest complaints with people, I, I think, you know, I'm not 100% sure, you know, a lot of days, like a lot of times now, you know, when I'm not 100% sure, I always have to say I'm not 100% sure. But what I think might be one of the biggest reasons is because Strava, a lot of people take Strava very, very seriously. For me, it's just logging my hours. Um, I really don't care about personal record and or breaking other people's record. Some people take it seriously. It's in their nature to compete. But, you know, honestly, we're not in the Olympics. We're not in an Adora race. You know, when you get dethroned, you're like, whoa, I'm dethroned. You know, hey, this guy's cheating. Blah. It's like, oh, God. Fun is what we need to do. But, you know, right now, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm looking at this beauty. You know, if you, if you call this cheating, then uh, I don't know what to say. But I'm going to enjoy the sandwich first. After the sandwich, head down. And I apologize to everybody. I don't have GoPro footage, so I'm doing the best I can. You know, showing what I'm showing all this surroundings. 
And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, we will see you tomorrow.